Hi everyone, welcome back. It's a Wednesday afternoon. We just came back from library because it's a summer time. We go there every other week or so because my kids love to read books. If you give them books and not even bother them, they will not even ask for food. <laughs> so they love reading books and today is Wednesday. So that means my older son do have the classes and that means I need to make the dinner early. The good thing is tomorrow is 4th July, so the younger son doesn't have a classes, so I don't have to worry about tomorrow's dinner today. So I'll be cooking only for today, but the thing is around 2 o'clock, I do have the nails appointment. So I'm trying to finish everything early before I go for my nails, so after I'm done, I don't have to worry about cooking at all. So we'll see how much I can do because I'm not making any special today because I guess it's a summertime, it's so hot, we don't like to eat any heavy food at all. So I'm just making roti, rice, chole, spinach, sabji and the raita to go with it and that's about it. So simple but the healthy dinner. And uh, leave the comments below guys, let me know. At this point I'm just trying to see how many of you are interested because I had a few of the comments about my kids schedule in the summer. Um, yes, they do have the routine and uh, because my C, my older son will be in the 10th grade next year, the coming year basically, and the younger one will be in the ninth. So they are not elementary age kids like it's a summertime, do whatever you want to do it and enjoy. You know, yes, they do enjoy because I want them to relax and uh, you know enjoy basically but they still have the routine so if you are interested leave the comments below and i do have the few clips which i already recorded about their breakfast and what are the things that i do it especially in the morning to get them going what are the things i feed them because i think breakfast is really important and especially this age uh, where my kids are it's really important like what kind of food they eat so if you are interested in all that leave the comments below i'll share it with you guys but first of all let's go in the kitchen let's get started because i don't want to get late for my appointment so i just add the oil in here and i'm also going to add a little bit of ghee in there the combination of both this tastes really good but of course you can always make it in the oil and let me know if you have tried this combination the spinach and the chole it comes out so good especially if you have the fussy kids who doesn't like to eat spinach then you can make it with the chole because most of the kids do like the chole so try to make it that way so you can sneak in the spinach and they will not even know about it So here I do have the garlic, onions, and the tomato. I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of them at once. I did the poll on my community tag about whether you prefer my videos in Hindi, English or Gujarati. Most of you voted for the English and the reason I want to ask you about is because whenever I do the Hindi video I get comments like oh now you are doing video in Hindi what happened to the English video and when I do the English once in a while I do get the comments it's like can you do it in a Hindi so uh, i just want to know the percentage of you guys who's watching this video uh, whether you prefer the hindi or the english so now it's really clear that most of you guys prefer the english video and yes i can do the subtitle no big deal for that but the thing is if i'm doing the recipe video then it's really easy for me to do the subtitle but if i'm making the vlog like this then it's kind of hard to do put the subtitle there so I'm trying my best guys, I'm trying to understand you guys what language you prefer but in this way it made it really clearly that you guys prefer the English video and I'm okay with all those three languages, you know, either in Hindi, English, Gujarati, no big deal, I can do all three of them um, but it's really important for me to understand who's watching my video and what language you prefer so now it's clear for me too. 
So now it's cooked a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and add all the spices in there. So the haldi powder, the niajira powder. I'll also add the red chili powder. I'm gonna add the water because it's so dry. So now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach into this. Again, I'm gonna add a little bit water in here. So now I'm gonna let the spinach cook. So now the spinach is cooked, I'm gonna add the chickpeas into this. So now at this point, I'm gonna add the salt to taste, as well as the chana masala. I'm gonna add the water into this. And now we're gonna let this cook just for about seven to ten minutes because at this point we want all the spices to get mixed properly with the chole as well as the spinach okay so we'll go for nails now and man it's so hot right now so i'm gonna get the sns basically sns is the powdered nail polish so it's not the acrylic these are my nails so it's not uh, like a tip on or not the artificial nail at all and uh, i'll see whatever i can include how she do my nails i'll do it so you guys can see and uh, i really like this one because before i used to get the gel nail polish but in the gel, uh, you have to keep your hands under the UV lights, which is not good for your nails. Uh, but this is SNS, there is no UV light involved in this. So let's go there and uh, I'll show you how she does it. So first of all, she buff old nail polish and no, it doesn't damage my nails at all. After that, she wrap the nails into nail polish remover so she can clean them out properly. And meanwhile, I select the color. This is the hardest part because they have so much choice there. And this time I'm going with the red, white and blue because it's a 4th of July. And there is a something special also. Um, so if you guys been following me for some time, I'm not sure if you know or not but leave the comments below guys let me know if you remember what is that special thing in first week of july and uh, after she cleaned that she basically gave them a shape and cleaned them up properly and uh, i usually go with the round shaped nails i don't like the pointed ones some people go with the pointed i always go with the rounded nails and uh, basically that's it after that she buff them out properly make sure they the cuticles and everything is 
shape properly and there is no extra skin and all that and after that she put this uh, it's a basically clear nail polish and uh, after she applied there this is basically nail polish so as you can see it's a powder all I had to do is dip my fingers in there so that's how she do with all the nails And at the end again she basically shaped them and buff it apply the clear nail polish on top make sure they are sealed and uh, entire process take anywhere from one and a half hour to two hours but I thoroughly enjoyed this because at the end she gave the hand massage and that is the best part of it so this time I decided to go with the red white and blue because it's a 4th July I'm coming back on Friday to get my hair cut and this time I might uh, go with the long layers or just trim it. I still haven't made my mind. I don't know what I want to do. So I'm going to post this video before Friday. So leave the comments below. Let me know what you guys uh, think that I should do it. Whether go with the long layers or just trim it. So do not forget to leave the comments below guys and that's it now we're gonna go home and uh, i don't have much to do because i'm done with the dinner so we'll see but let's go home first I came home and my son told me that there is a lizard in the office and i'm so even scared to go there now because uh, you know all this year that i've been here in the state i never had lizard in my house and first of all I just don't like them at all. They are so creepy and um, so I'm just going in there. Actually, they close the door as well as they put the, I think they, they say they put the towel or something there. So yeah, let me show you guys. <laughs> so they put their violin there so then she doesn't come outside. It's in there. Uh, but actually, I'm also scared to go in there and see. Um. So if you know how to get the lizard out, leave the comments below, guys. Let me know because I'm actually scared. Uh, I don't think so. Even kids going to go in that room anymore now until the lizard is gone. And the good thing they did is they put that violin case over there. So then chances are she's not going to come out. So that means all this other area is safe. Uh, but now the thing is how to get this lizard out. So leave the comments below, guys. Let me know. I'm scared now. I'm scared to even open the door and go inside. We are on our way to go to class and as soon as we reach there, this is what we see. They look so cute. So if you made it this far, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.